What's going on people? So the new update coming to the main branch will be Underwater Labs as well as some other things that are key to talking about when it comes to what's going to be in the newest update that will come to Rust console. So as always, I asked Pedro a couple questions and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty stale in terms of asking questions to Pedro and kind of try not to ask the same questions I already asked such as the anti-cheat and anything of that nature. So straight off the bat, Number one, we have got how are the bug fixes coming along with Underwater Labs? Because again, when I first started playing this, there was a lot of like glitchiness when it came to submarines approaching Underwater Labs. And as well, it was pretty hard to kind of maneuver the submarine as well. So I'm not sure if that was intentional or they've refined those bugs, but that is why I asked. Pedro replied saying, we just released an update on the PTB and all is coming along nicely, which is again, a good update for people that, you know, are really excited for underwater labs. And I will talk about kind of my opinion on where I think Rust consoles are from not even a player's point of view anymore, because since I don't really play the game as much as I used to, but we will get to those opinions very, very soon. Second question is, when can we officially see tugboats in the PTB? Then Pedro replied saying, no dates for a tugboat announcement just yet. I will share that with everyone when the time comes. So I'm not going to really ask anything about tugboats from now on, because as he said, I think a couple times now, whenever there'll be an update surrounding tugboats because of how big it is, he's going to let everyone know he's not going to drop hints here and there to creators that talk about the updates in their videos and you know having the first exclusive if you will he's going to announce it to everyone so everyone is on the same page but tugboats i'm pretty sure is going to be coming to the ptb just after underwater labs has you know set sail on the main branch and once all the bugs are fine i'm pretty sure tugboats will be the next thing to enter the ptb and along with basically underwater labs coming to the game and the whole host of bug fixes that that update is going to bring we will also have inspect element again this is something i've shown from rust console skins on tiktok you can now inspect the weapon which is going to be cool for skins since you know a load of people buy skins on this game it's a really big revenue stream pretty much the biggest revenue stream when it comes to rust console and how they get their money back skins is that and to inspect your skin is really nice but that's just phase one phase two has got to be 120 fov that just needs to happen or an fov where it's just more zoomed out than nine because right now you know comparing how the game is to how it was in terms of fov i love just looking at the weapon and especially since no stock skins do well when you you know release them from d11's point of view and you can't even see the stock full stop so if there's no stock it's just really really pointless so i do think a new fov will be coming or is in the works due to the fact that they even put it on their dev blog in the first place pedro covered it with I think Adam his name is who also covered a whole host of things over on that dev blog which was really, really informative. My last question is will the secret update be the last in quotation marks big update this year in 2024 and I keep on prodding him about this secret update like is there anything we can know about not just the update itself but whether it's just gonna be you know big the last big update for 2024 will we get anything after that Pedro said, I can't comment on that yet. Again, something we'll reveal to everyone when the time comes. So really, when it comes to stuff that just isn't released yet, I will just basically have to theorize about what I know. I don't think I can ask Pedro these sorts of questions when it comes to the secret update or anything of that nature because he's just not going to give me an answer for it. So it's kind of really me like pointlessly wasting time here, both for me and himself so anything such as the secret update or any big updates i guess you know i'm gonna have to look into the game files see if i can pick anything from there or if anyone else you know you guys for example send me anything then you know we'll go by that and we'll theorize and see what comes to pass and those were the three questions and we've got basically up to five minutes and what i wanted to really you know talk upon was how ross console is at this moment in time i don't play it as much but i see a lot of players quitting and i'm not going to be negative in the sense that oh because i don't play it and because i find the game more negative than positive at the moment that means it's negative as a whole i'm not saying it from that perspective i do think the game is just at a really weird state because military tunnels came to the game uh, or the main branch i should say and everyone was like yeah this is really good for what two weeks and i feel as if and i've covered this in multiple videos now i feel as if because we've had the biggest update to come to this game which was community servers and it flopped to be honest like the launch of it flopped that's the biggest update we're gonna get apart from minis and 
probably whatever else that people are asking for. I think minis is the only thing, but I still don't think minis will save this game. I'm not going to lie to you. The only other thing that I think will save this game is the anti-cheat and a new gen only version. But I digress. I, I just think because of how big the update for community servers was and the hype for that was just the biggest I've ever seen. And for it to, you know, have the outcome it did. Every other update is like, yeah, for about a week. And that's it. It's just dead in the water. No pun intended. I don't think Underwater Labs is going to be that highly hyped up. And I don't think it's going to last that long either. I think it's going to last about two to four weeks. And then I don't even think we need any more monument updates. I'm not going to lie to you. I think we need more customization within community servers. More, you know, as well dealing with like offline raids. We really need something that can deal with that. And more things to do with the player itself. Such as, you know, tugboats living on the sea so stuff like that not monuments i don't think we need any more monuments i just think we need more things that will just divert the player from just pvp in. and different ways of surviving on the map or on the server itself and i've already made a video talking about how rust console should have its own monument we're chasing a game where it's you know pretty much fully refined in terms of graphics and how it runs the playability of it being rust pc but the thing is, is that we've already seen what's going to be coming. So it's not going to be as exciting. It's not going to be as hyped. It's never going to be as good. The community, you know, would have blown up by now. In my personal opinion, I think the game would have blown up by now. Because we have the pedestal of what Rust PC is. Everyone's like, damn, this Rust PC is coming to console. I cannot wait. And what we've got now is, you know, nothing short of it's not that at all it's its own sort of thing and it's trying to follow it but i don't think it'll live up to the expectations that pc rust has and i feel like d11 should just try and make it their own game because how many content creators big content creators on this platform do you see not that many i can probably name two or two to three and it just doesn't seem as if there's more content creators coming through the pipeline i do see you know a couple content creators here here and there getting quite a lot of views but the, nothing that just stands out to me personally from someone from beta that's done content creation, that's played the game. It just, you know, the game just doesn't feel what I think it should be. It doesn't feel like how Rust was and it doesn't feel like, you know, maybe Rust should be. However, those are just my opinions. I know I probably ranted on along uh, with this, but I just wanted to put input my opinion. As always, speaking my mind, you know, I have no loyalty to any side because... You know, that's the thing about me. You're going to get my 100% honest opinion. If you did enjoy this video and you found it informative or you agree with my little rant at the end of this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. But most importantly, leave a comment down below. And let's have a conversation about anything or everything that was said within this video. As always, guys, take it easy. See you in the next one.